as a designer, we do so much with typography, and this is like the foundation of a lot of it. So like, you know, letting, it's a distance between two lines and a paragraph. Um, here's your letting right here, a bunch of sticks of lead. When someone says, increase the letting, they mean put another like literal stick of lead in between the lines, right? So it looks like a Q. It's a P, because it's cast backwards and it makes a direct impression. So when you're doing letterpress, you have to mind your P's and Q's. Right, so a lot of that kind of uh, idioms come from this, or like th these are called cases. The lowercase used to be called minuscules and the uppercase was called majuscules, and then they put them all in this one drawer together. Prior to that, all the minuscules were in the lowercase and all the majuscules were in the uppercase. And eventually around the letterpress shop, they got tired of saying like majuscules and they're like, grab the uppercase. So it's literally a case. Good? Yeah, you want to gold it up? Yeah. This type of stuff is stuff that needs to be used. Like, it, it just decays if it sits there. You have to use it in order to know how to use it correctly. You have to accidentally break things so that you have to learn how to fix them. And that's something that has to be passed down. So we're going to put all this stuff, the goal is to put all this stuff in the depot and have it be like a museum in the sense of like have a comprehensive collection that spans um, all the different types of letterpress printing, uh, to have a knowledge base about the history of it, but to let people use it and let people have access to it. You know, it'll be one of the, if not the largest publicly accessible collection of this stuff in the country. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Oh yes.